To find the oxidation numbers for each element in FeOH3, that's iron 3 hydroxide. We're going to use these rules here, and we know that this is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus up here, so this is neutral. That means, if we look at our rules, a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So that's important. We don't know what iron is. We don't have that on our list here. It can have variable oxidation states, usually plus 2 or plus 3. We do know oxygen, that has a minus 2 oxidation number, except in a few instances. Hydrogen, when it's bonded to a nonmetal, is plus 1, and oxygen's a nonmetal, so put a plus 1 up here. We don't know the iron. Let's just call that x. So now, because we know this all adds up to 0, we can just write an equation. x plus minus 2 plus 1 times the 3, that should equal 0. So x, that's minus 1 times 3, minus 3 equals 0. x, that's going to equal a plus 3. So the oxidation number on the iron, that's going to be plus 3. So we know the oxidation numbers now for each of the elements in iron 3 hydroxide. There's one more way we can do this. So let's clear this off, and we'll do that real quick. So our, our second rule here is if we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers are going to add up to the charge on the ion. So the hydroxide here, you should know that that has a 1 minus charge. That's a real good one to memorize. So we have our minus charge for the hydroxide times the 3. So that should give us a minus 3. Because of that, this iron here, this all to be a neutral compound, everything to add up to 0, this has to be plus 3. So same answer as before, a little bit different way to do it. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for the elements in FeOH3, iron 3 hydroxide. Thanks for watching.